What's going on guys? So the other day I showed you Carrier Editor, a program for Mac that allowed you to have a custom Carrier logo on your iPhone and iPad with 3G and 4G support. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that on Windows. So a couple days ago, uh, a Windows program was released. It's called Custom Carrier Logo, and I'll have the download link somewhere in the underbar. The first thing that you're going to need to do, obviously, is head on over to your computer, download the, the folder, and... Uh, Put it on your desktop just so it's nice and easy to use. Open up the folder and go to Custom Carrier Logo. Uh, it should be an application. Go ahead and open that and then hit Run. You can close out of the folder for right now. All we're going to need to worry about is this program. So uh, first things first, go ahead and hit Let's Get Started. The first thing that it's going to ask is for your current carrier version. So head on over back to your iDevice and go into Settings and then General and then About and scroll on down until you see uh, carrier. Now, um, everyone is going to be pretty unique on this one, so you have to type in the number over there that is uh, unique to your device. It should say either AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, whatever network you're on, and then some sort of number, whether it's 13.1 or 13.2 or 13.5. Uh, it doesn't matter what it says, but it has to be unique to your device. So um, keep that number in mind and head on back over to uh, the program here and type it in and uh, go ahead and choose what device you have. Just a side note, this only works for the iPhone or the iPad with 3G and 4G support. The reason it only works on those two devices is because you need to be connected to some sort of carrier or some sort of network like Verizon or Sprint or AT&T or whatever network you're connected to because the way this works is a carrier, uh, a carrier update through iTunes. So obviously the iPod Touch isn't connected to a network or anything like that. That's why it only works with these two devices. So I'll go ahead and choose mine here and then I will choose my carrier. And then uh, you have two options here. Now in Carrier Editor for Mac, you only have the option to, uh, whoops, there we go. Um, in Carrier Editor for Mac, you only have the option to choose between um, images, but uh, on Custom Carrier Logo for Windows, you actually have the option to type in custom text with a whole bunch of different font and stuff like that. So I'll just show you that option. You have a whole bunch of different fonts. You can change the size as well, and you can also change to a whole bunch of different colors. I'm just going to go ahead and stick to the images here just so I can show you guys what it looks like. Um, you're going to need to download one last thing here, which is going to be awfully helpful. Um, you're going to need to download the Zeppelin Logos Pack. Um, this logo pack was was available for Carrier Editor, and I basically just took it out of that program, put it in a folder, and um, I kind of downloaded the folder for you guys. So uh, go ahead and head on under the uh, to the underbar so you guys can get this. Um, it has a whole bunch of the same Zeppelin logos that were av uh, available for Carrier Editor, so you have a few options to change your logo from. Um, as always, you can always search on uh, the internet for a whole bunch of custom Carrier logos as well. So I'll go ahead and just put in uh, the Dark Knight Batman ones again. Um, so for this, I would highly recommend putting the black logo where the black goes and the etched logo uh, where the etched uh, one goes. So uh, it just makes it a little bit easier and it looks a little bit nicer. So I'll do that one for the black one and then for the etched one. And there we go, that's all you have to do. Like I said, you can choose um, either from an image or text. Um, and once you're all done with that, all you have to do is hit Create IPCC Carrier Bundle. And this should pop up. Once that pops up, head on over to your desktop here and you should have uh, two new little pieces of paper. One should say um, AT&T or whatever carrier you're on, whatever country you're from, and then whatever number you typed in. And the other one should say Carrier Country and then Original. The original one is your original um, carrier logo, whether it's said uh, AT&T or Verizon or whatever. I would highly recommend keeping this one because it is the original. It's your backup. And if you ever have to take it into, um, you know, Apple Store or uh, your carrier or whatever, you got to restore back, obviously, or they're going to think something is up with your phone. Um, and then this is the one that we're going to use. So all you have to do now is uh, connect up your iDevice to iTunes. And uh, I'll go ahead and open up iTunes here. Once iTunes is open, all you have to do uh, with your device connected is go ahead and hit shift and then restore. Don't worry, we're not restoring anything. You're not going to lose any data or anything like that. But head on over to where, you're, uh, where you saved your um, IPCC files. Make sure down here um, you have the option to have IPCC files shown. Um, if you can't, just go ahead and search for uh, whatever carrier you're on and it should pop up. Make sure you choose the one that uh, is the version you um, typed in. Um, don't choose the original one because obviously that's not going to change anything. Once you have that chosen, all you have to do is go ahead and hit open 
and it will update the carrier settings and uh, once it's updated that's all you have to do uh, it's all done I would highly recommend restarting your iPhone um, or iPad with 3G 4G support um, it uh, it kind of takes a couple minutes if you don't restart so go ahead restart your iDevice completely reboot it and once you power it back on you should see the brand new custom carrier logo on your iDevice so hopefully you guys enjoyed like I said um, if you're looking for the Mac version of this tutorial it's on my channel I'll have a link somewhere in the annotation or down in the underbar uh, like I said hopefully you guys enjoyed hit that thumbs up button if you did also hit that subscribe button for future Apple videos if you have any comments questions concerns definitely let me know in the comments and I will do my best to help you out and I'll see you guys later